Hey, this is Dan from RealMac Software, and welcome back to the second episode of the Rapid Weaver Elements Developer Diary. Um, now, last week we looked at the uh, containers in the Theme Studio, and this week we're going to look at shadows. Now, for a while we've been working on a CSS shadow editor, and this week it's ready to show off. So, CSS shadows, they can apply to anything, but in this example that I'm showing off now, uh, I'm just going to focus on the buttons, but you could imagine these on other elements as well. So let's take a look at our site. Now, this is just a travel site I've put together, and it's got a nice big header, and we've got these buttons here. So uh, I've added these buttons because that's really what we're going to focus on. So if I highlight the button, it's going to give us some options. And let me just hop over here to our page layout just so we can see the tree, how this page is put together. Now we are in edit mode here. It's easy to forget that because it looks exactly the same as preview because Elements is WYSIWYG. So, but anyway, let's get back to this. So I've highlighted my button and I've got the uh, normal state and the hover state here. And if I turn these down, this gives me some controls for each state of the button. So right now, when I hover into it, uh, you can see that button, that shadow disappears. So if we scroll down, we've got this new control here. Now this is our CSS shadow editor, and this allows us to manipulate the shadow on an object. So as this is under the normal state, this will, um, change the button in the view now. So what I can do, I can just take this dot and I can just move it around and you can see it's updating the view live uh, with the changes I'm making here. So I could bring this further away and let's make that blurred. And if I double click there, I can change the opacity a bit so we can bring that down. So that's looking pretty good. And now if I scroll down, we're in our hover area and I want to change the look of the hover state. So uh, let's make that, uh, it's going to be darker because uh, we're going to make it come in when we, when we hover over it. So there, and let's bring that in a bit more. So now when I hover over the button, you can see, uh, let's make that get sharper as well. So now when I hover over the button, the shadow animates in just like that. So that's really easy to edit these and we can obviously change the values uh, using these using these fields here. So now the shadow moves up like that. So you can get, you know, I can put exact values in there, which is really nice. And another way to do that is to hold down the shift key and that snaps it to uh, two pixel increments there. So it's easy to move up and down on that axis which is really nice. And let me do that there as well. So you can see that animating. So that's really nice. Now that's great, but I've got multiple buttons on my page and it's going to be a bit annoying to go through each of these and update the style there. So what we can do is we can use um, shadow presets that we set up in the theme studio. Let me open the theme studio. And this is the same just as we do for, um, colors. Uh, we also do it for font families, uh, style, spacing. We now have support for shadows. So you can set up default shadows that will be used throughout your site. So here I've got two custom shadows, MD for medium and SM for small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this button and instead of using a custom shadow, I'm going to select MD for the normal state and uh, let's see sm for the hover state so now all my buttons are using the uh the, these presets because these were already set up and this one i've changed to use my presets from here so now we can go into the theme studio and customize these shadows so let's have a bit of fun with this what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna pick a nice blue color there and we're gonna offset it and I can make that blurry. But one of the things I haven't showed you is that we can add multiple shadows, which is really cool. So I just hit this little plus button and that's added another shadow and we'll make that one red and let's pull that one up to there and we can blur that some more. So now you can see all of these are updating in real time and we can add another one and we'll do this one blue or maybe even purple for that one. 
and uh, let's move that one over there and uh, we can make that even blurrier you know so you can have a lot of fun with this we can just play around and let's move that over there so and we can add one more let's go for a yellow one uh, and we can put that there and well maybe that yellow is a bit too strong so we could we could lower the opacity on that um, and you can also change the order so I can just drag this around and we can change the layering uh, so this is obviously the top and this being on the bottom so I can bring that through and then you can see that there on the top uh, and we can also get rid of them I can just remove it like that and uh, that's quite nice let's uh, let's get rid of a couple of these um, so there, there's one way of setting up those shadows but we also have another little trick here if I add one more uh, shadow what I can do, um, I can obviously move this around still, but if I double click on this, rather than being an outer shadow, it goes to being an inner shadow. So now you can see that's inside there um, and we get the same controls. Like I can click on there and let's do this. Let's do this like a light purple there. Oh yeah, let's uh, do something like that. So now we've given our button a bit of a glow there you can see there um, that's looking quite nice you know and we could change that to a pinky color there so you can have a lot of fun with this you know like I'm, I'm now I'm kind of building up a aqua style button there let's get rid of that one so this is quite nice and I can add another one and um, of course I can make that one inside as well and let's make uh, we'll zap up that one and let's make that really sharp and we could just give yeah highlight that on the bottom there let's give that a little bit of a blur so you can see now I'm building up a really nice effect on this on this button and this is applying to all the buttons on my on my page there so it's really powerful this stuff and uh, so obviously we've done that to the medium one and then uh, the, so you can see now when I hover over this we've got the medium and the small shadow so that's looking uh, looking pretty good we could obviously uh, I could change this let's change this one a bit uh, we'll get that one purpley to match the other one and we'll double click it to make it outside so there we go so now it's got that nice shadow so this is uh, a really nice way to work again to to update these globally to make it makes it really easy um, on this uh, so one uh, let's have a look one one thing I mean let's let's make this <clears throat> let's make this look uh, something we might actually use so uh, let's get uh, let's make that an outside one we can make this nicer I think yeah so we'll go for a dark a dark color there but you see how easy it is to just change the look of your site uh, let's do you see how quickly I'm changing this and, and playing around with colors and styles and the same here let's change that oops let's change that to a dark blue that's looking good now when we roll over uh, we probably will we probably want that to go in uh, one yeah there we go so now we've got a nice let's let's blur that up a bit so we can see it yeah so now we've got this nice rollover effect and um, let's see we're currently using the um, the primary color here for all our buttons but I don't think this purple looks too great on this site so what we can do uh, we could duplicate this primary color and then we can override it here and um, and we can just you know pick a new color for the for the button 
And yeah, maybe we maybe we want to go with an orange color. And you know, this is changing all the buttons on the page. Really nice. Really nice there. Let's go, let's go with that orange. That's looking pretty good. You know, and I can change the fonts as well. Uh, I've got this set up for my um a button custom class there so you know I can easily I can easily change the size of of that uh so up to two you see easy as that we'll keep it let's do 1.2 so make it a little bit bigger and now I'm thinking uh the shadow looks a little bit could use a little bit of work um let's reset that back to uh probably a dark orange really there we go and remember this is in edit mode so this is not it looks like preview but it's not you can tell it's edit mode but i've got these bounding boxes but um let's just update that text so book now and if i go over to preview oh yeah there we are if i go over to preview it looks exactly the same so i can click this button and you don't notice any changes and the only difference being that when i'm in preview mode uh, I don't get my bounding boxes because this is obviously uh, preview and not editable. So I can go through these and it looks really good. And you know, and that's the same as in, I go back to preview mode. We can tell it's preview because I've got the bounding boxes and there is the same. I can play with this and uh, check out the responsiveness that I've built there with that grid. So, and it all just works. So now we've got this uh, nice rollover, really easy to do. And change that and that was super quick to update so you can see how these tools we're building and this theme studio is really coming together and making it easy to have these global settings for your site and as many styles as you want so rather than having to go into each individual button and tweak these styles and go to different pages you can do it globally and this makes it so quick to to, to just update the look of your site um, it's very very cool uh, one thing we did add as well before I go that I didn't talk about is selecting objects. Now we obviously have the page layout tree over here and I can, I can click through on the objects I want to edit. But sometimes um, you'll see here, like I've got a grid and I've got a grid item here and a section and a flex and a flex item. And sometimes it's hard to pick like the flex item that surrounds this. And we've made this easier by having this breadcrumb down here. So if I know I want to select the flex item around this object, I can just click down here and it will select it. Or if I want to select the whole grid, I can just press on that. And now it's selected the grid and gives me the options there. One of the other ways you can do this, and this is the way that I often use uh, when I'm uh, editing a site, is that um, you can just right click on an object and it tells you about the object. You can inspect the element and it shows you the code. And let's just, whoop, let's just drop that back in there. And if I right click again, you can also just select navigate and you can um, select the parent container. So this is the same as this down here. It just lets you select the parent so you can see uh, button, flex item, flex section. And this is the same here, flex item, flex section. So I can easily just jump up to the grid. And now I've got the grid selected, you know, and it's it's super easy just to, just to update things like that, you know, because uh, on here then I could update the, the, the grid layout between these items. So, so there, now we've got that. And if I'm on this flex box, I could, you know, just change that. And this is all super, super easy um, and super, super powerful. So that's all for this week. That was a quick update on our CSS shadow editor and, um, and a little bit of uh, navigation, an easier way to find your objects. So I hope you like this update and I'd love to hear what you think about the CSS editor. We've still got some more work to do on it. It's not quite finished. Uh, but that obviously gives you a really good idea of the power of it. Uh, we've got a few more things to add to it. 
But uh, yeah, that's it for this week. So let us know what you think in the comments below or the comments on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well because you can get notified of new videos there. And that's it for this week. And I will see you the same time next week for another Elements update. All right, thanks for watching this. Cheers, bye.